this is captain choudhury today i'll be speaking about great circle sailing great circle sailing using the different spherical triangle formula right uh, let us take a simple case that you are going from one place to other place and uh, say initial position 24 degrees north 140 degrees east and then final position say 44 degrees north 150 degrees west uh, we are generally going north and we are going east let us find out delight which is of no consequence but uh, we are going 20 degrees north to find out the delong it is different name so add 290 degrees west but you can't have a delong more than 180 degrees so subtract from 360 so it is 70 degrees so it is 70 degrees east we change the name so in all cases of uh, great circle sailing i suggest that you should draw a diagram like this right it is like peel of uh, uh, orange skin this is north pole uh, we draw equator here initial latitude is 24 degrees north so we may say a is somewhere here b is halfway to the pole something like this we join ab with a curved line with curvature towards the pole and we are going from a to b now the d long that is 70 degrees east is reflected here we write down v as usual the west is ship is going eastwards d long is 70 degrees okay uh here is the triangle pab we are going to solve it by spherical triangle cosine formula right now in this particular triangle pa is collatitude of a and that is uh, 66 degrees pb is 46 degrees the collatitude of b now we know the two sides and included angle and remember we can use the cosine formula whenever we have two sides and included angle or we know all the three sides right suppose the side opposite to p is small p side opposite to b is small b and side opposite to a is small a then we have the cosine formula as cos of small p is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b into cosine of opposite angle capital p so you've seen that this cosine formula can be written for any of the sides if you start with small p you will end up with capital p same way you can start with small a end up with capital a and so on so it can be used for all the three sides so cos of 46 degrees cos of 66 degrees plus sin of 46 degrees sin 66 degrees cosine of 70 degrees this is equal to cos of p so uh, cos 46 degrees into cos 66 degrees equal to plus bracket starts sin 46 degrees into sin 66 degrees into cosine of 70 degrees bracket close equal to 0.5073 uh, shift cos gives me 59.51 so small p is equal to 59.51 degrees multiplied by 60 that gives me 3570.94 that gives me 3570.94 miles or 59.51 degrees that is the value of small p 59.51 degrees so we've got the grid circle distance between the places a and b by a simple use of cosine formula we got small p equal to 59.51 that is equal to 3570.94 miles so you've seen that uh, we have uh, applied the formula to this triangle spherical triangle pab where we know the two sides and included angle we know the initial side because that is a collat of a whatever is the latitude 90 minus latitude is a collat of a same way 
T minus latitude of B is colat of B. So we will call a uh, side opposite to capital A as small A, opposite to capital B as small B, and opposite to capital P as small P. And we have this formula cos of any side is equal to cos of other sides plus sine of other sides into cosine of opposite angle. Now, having uh, got this uh, side 59.51, right? I want to find out now initial course. That means I want to find out capital A. So I must actually initially write the formula for small a. And formula for small a is cos of small a is equal to cos of b cos of p plus sine of b sine of p into cos of capital A. So cos of capital A is equal to cos of small a minus cos of b cos of p upon sine of b sine of p so which means uh, it is equal to cos of small a is 46 degrees minus cos of 66 degrees cos of 59.51 divided by sine 66 degrees sine 59.51 so let's do this cosine of 46 degrees minus the bracket starts cos 66 degrees into cos 59.51 degrees bracket close equal to divide by bracket starts sine 66 degrees into sine 59.51 degrees bracket close equal to shift cosine gives me angle A as 51 point six six that is about fifty one point seven degrees so this internal angle is fifty one point seven degrees if I want to know what is the three digit course if I want to know what is the three digit course I make a picture of the ship plan view over here at A along the course line and then the true course is measured from north meridian. This is the north meridian at A. Clockwise till the ship's head. From the north meridian, I come clockwise till the ship's head. Spherical triangle formulae always give the internal angle. So internal angle is 51.7 degrees. So true course is also from north meridian clockwise till the ship's head. 0, 051.7 degrees. Similarly, we can find out angle B also for that the formula would be cos of capital B is equal to cos of small b minus cos A cos P divided by sin A sin P and that is equal to cos of 66 degrees minus cos 46 degrees cos 59.51 divided by sin 46 degrees sin 59.51 degrees so let us do it now cos of 66 degrees equal to minus bracket starts cos 46 degrees into cos 59.51 degrees bracket close equal to divide by bracket starts sin 46 degrees into sine 59.51 degrees bracket close equal to shift cos that gives me 84.97 approximately equal to 85 degrees that means this internal angle is 85 degrees if I make a picture of the ship on the course line at B I find that the angle measured from north meridian till the ship's head is 180 minus 85 that is equal to 95 so the true course is 095 so initial course is 51.7 degrees final course is 095 degrees and the great circle distance is 59.51 multiplied by 60 so uh, this is how a great circle sailing a simple great circle sailing question can be done now we can also find out the initial course and final course we can also find out the initial course and final course without finding out the great circle distance 
Let us see how we do it. So for that, uh, we have to use the four-part formula. 